from visitmysmokies.com. It's the fun cast for the weekend of October 7th, 8th, and 9th. Yes, that's Matthew. And as far as any big effects in the Smokies, not really going to be a factor for us. We certainly send out our best wishes to all of our friends and neighbors down to the south and to the southeast, affected by that as we go into the weekend. And, of course, monitor all of your local media for any important information. If you're coming into the Smokies trying to get away from all of that, Things are busy. It's going to be a busy weekend. Things have gotten a little busier on the color charts, too. We're seeing more and more colors now in the high elevations. Plenty of action from American Beach, Yellow Birch, Witch Hobble, Pin Cherry, Mountain Maple, and Mountain Ash doing their gold and yellow thing, along with some orange and some red. Mid-elevation, not quite as pronounced yet, but uh, there is some red from the maple, Sourwood. You add into that some orange sugar maples, the yellow birches, and we're definitely getting there. And if you would like to get more information, you should bookmark our ultimate guide to fall colors in the Smokies. From the main menu, click Things to Know and search Fall Color Guide. Great time to maybe take a little drive and enjoy those colors. Newfoundland Gap Road, side trip maybe along Klingman's Dome Road. And let me tell you a little something about another trip to see something pretty that you can take Saturday night. That's to Cades Cove. Big stargazing event is happening this weekend. Uh, the good news is clouds should be clearing out Saturday evening just in time for this. You normally can't go to Cades Cove After dark, but the National Park Service has an exception. This is the annual Cades Cove Star Party. Uh, Not a red carpet thing. You won't see it on E, but you'll see some beautiful sky shows. And it's free and open to everyone. Just click Things to Know and search Cades Cove Stargazing. I got a star for you. Dolly Parton. The biggest star around these parts, and man, she had a year. Uh, She has a new album that debuted at number one on the Billboard chart. She launched her biggest tour in decades, 50th wedding anniversary with her husband. And now we just posted a story about her Willie Nelson Lifetime Achievement Award at the 50th Annual CMA Awards in November. Go to Things to Know. There are the effects pretty much right there, of Matthew. And there aren't too many of them, but there could be some showers scattered around Friday evening through Saturday morning. And we might hold on to the clouds into Saturday afternoon. And those numbers will be above average starting Monday next week. Looks like a stretch of just really pleasant weather. Crisp mornings, warm afternoons. And warm greetings to you. We hope to see you soon when you visit MySmokies.com.